Be sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. When you do that, you help my channel grow. I'm Miss Jessica and welcome to my book nook. In today's book, we're going to learn how to face our fears and anxiety head on. And then we get to meet the author of the book, so stay tuned. Okay, let's read a book. Fear Not, How to Face Your Fear and Anxiety Head On, written by Christina Furnival and illustrated by Katie Dwyer. If you're reading this book, then you might be like me, with some fears and some worries that won't let you be. We are in this together. I want you to know. All kids, grown-ups too, have these thoughts come and go. Yes, <laughs> grown-ups have fears. Can't believe it? It's true. Worries bother us all, not just me, not just you. I'll tell you the story of beating my fears. So listen up now, cause I need you all ears. There were times in my life when I had a big fear. It was constantly with me. It always felt near. It would make my heart race, put my tummy in knots. It would make my head hurt. I was lost in my thoughts. My fear planted beliefs that were rooted in doubt. Oh, what if? Oh, what if? All my thoughts seemed to shout. At times, it was helpful. Fear pointed out risks. But most of the time, it just made me feel sick. So what did I do when fear entered my head? I'll tell you what didn't work, then I'll tell you what did. I kept it a secret, which felt like protection, but I was alone without help or connection. I hoped that if I could pretend it was gone, that it simply would leave me alone and move on. So I tried to ignore it, to push it away. But this didn't work, and it felt here to stay. It took over my focus, and that didn't fix it. It was all I could think of. I just couldn't nix it. Then one windy day, when I noticed the breeze, I started to feel that my mind was at ease. All my senses woke up as the air passed me by. I was touching and feeling the swirls of the sky. Then my smell, taste, and sight were also turned on, and most of all, sound with a lovely bird's song. More aware of my surroundings, something wonderful shifted. As I focused on senses, my fear, it just lifted. As my worries kept fading, I was learning with pride. There were things I could do to make fear want to hide. I will share with you now my step-by-step -step plan so that you too can do it. I know that you can. Step one, first notice, accept, and acknowledge the fear. Now describe it out loud in a voice strong and clear. Because by voicing our thoughts, we strip fear of its power. We strengthen ourselves and then fear starts to cower. Step two. And now let's remember the feeling will pass. It will not hang around because feelings don't last. Our nice feelings and yuck ones all act just the same. They come for a while, then they go on their way. Step three. This last step is to pick out our favorite new tool to help cope and to manage to regain our cool. Slow deep breathing's a tool to take charge of our mind. Soothing heads, hearts, and tummies, leaving fears far behind. Tools could also be writing or sipping a drink maybe drawing or puzzling or sleeping a wink. 
The more that I practiced, the better I got at using my tools telling fear, I'll fear not. You can practice these steps just like I did before. I know you can do it and shout out no more. Watch your confidence grow and big worries shrink small as you take on your fears with these steps, tools, and all. And although there are times when the fear will creep in, you are now strong and skilled and you've learned how to win. Fears aren't so scary if we don't let them be. When we face them head on, we can bravely be free. The end. We just finished reading the book, Fear Not, How to Face Your Fear and Anxiety Head On. And the author is here with us today. Everyone, this is Miss Christina Furnival. Hi, everybody. Hi, Miss Christina. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, of course. So I loved this book and I was just interested in knowing what was your inspiration behind writing it? My inspiration behind writing this book was to support children and their families to recognize what anxiety is, to shape a healthy relationship with it, and to understand that they can handle the discomfort that anxieties and fear bring. Oh, wow, I love that. So then with that intention, what do you want us to learn from the book? I would love for you to learn that you are not alone in having anxiety and fears, that we all have them and that you are strong enough to handle them. And with this book, Fear Not, there are three practical steps to help you through that process. Our natural instinct when we have anxiety is to hide from it or to get rid of it, but that actually makes things worse. And the way that we really beat anxiety is by leaning into it and not fighting it at all, but learning that we can handle it. And so with my three steps, hopefully you'll feel that much more confident facing anxiety. So Miss Christina has done an interview with us before because she wrote another book that has a book nook episode called The Not So Friendly Friend. And I encourage you to go watch that whenever you can. The third book in the Capable Kiddos series is being written right now. And it's going to be about how we think about our thoughts and the way our thoughts influence our feelings and our behaviors. You can find the books on amazon.com or if you would like an author signed copy, you can come to my website, christinafurnival.com and order the books there. And that will keep you up to date with information of upcoming books as well. Well, Ms. Christina, thank you so much for writing these powerful, powerful books. And thank you for being a part of my world. Thank you so much. Well, everyone, this is Miss Christina Furnival, and I am Miss Jessica, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.